What is up everybody? We are back. We have another episode of what seems to be the favorite amongst all the fans. Um, some food and some snack uh, testing here. So we've got uh, five different snacks and three drinks. So I'm on my own tonight, but we're going to try these out. I tried to go a little bit on the edge with a few of them. Um, kind of took some risk with a few snacks. Not really sure what we're getting into with a few of them, but um, yeah, we'll check them out. We have two different Lay's potato chips, um, tofu kimchi, um, we've got some brown sugar airplane cookies. I went pretty safe on that one. I think those should be good. Um, we've got another one here. I really don't have no idea what it is. It almost looks like maybe a pretzel stick or something like that. But there's no English on the package, so we'll get to those. Then the three drinks. We have a classic Taiwanese milk tea, which is very popular here, milk tea. Um, we have an apple milk, which I saw for the first time today at 7-Eleven. And something about apple and milk just doesn't quite mix for me, so I thought, hey, I better try it. Um, like they always say, you can't knock it till you try it, so a little bit nervous about that one, but we'll see. And the last one is asparagus juice, which, I mean, off the hop, doesn't really sound appealing to me, but, I mean, I do like asparagus, and uh, I don't know, it might not be too bad. I think that one might surprise me a little bit, so, um, yeah, classic milk tea, apple milk, and asparagus juice. Um, and they're all cold drinks. So, um, yeah, without uh, further ado, let's get started. All right, first up, we are going to start with the tofu kimchi snack. Um, and yes, I have already opened all these. I figured you guys don't want to sit here and watch me try to open these. Um, but these, I have stared at these for a long time in 7 Eleven. Every time I go in, I see them and I've never tried them. Um, but I thought, hey, I like kimchi. Um, from when I was playing in Korea, I really started to like kimchi. Tofu, not a huge fan. So we'll see what it's like. Um, tofu kimchi snack. There is some Korean lettering on here um, on the package as well as some Chinese. So. Um, obviously with the kimchi it has some sort of uh, Korean uh, flavor to it, but let's try them out here. So, they're just little squares, well not little, but uh, not overly big. Pretty small for a potato chip, but kind of like a crispy, crispy chip. They've almost got like a salty smell to them. And then you can smell a little bit of the spice, a little bit of the kimchi, uh, the red spice to it. So, they don't smell too bad, let's give them a try. Yeah, you get like one second of tofu, maybe three seconds of kimchi with a little bit of kick, which is nice. I like it. And now it's like gone. So, that's interesting. Um, not bad. I, I, I liked it. I like the kimchi flavor with a little bit of kick. The tofu at the start isn't really too bad. It's kind of just like a, almost like a bean taste flavor, which I think that's basically what tofu is. Um, yeah, overall not too bad, but it kind of like... You get flavor, and then it's done. You're moving on to the next chip. It doesn't really hang around at all. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad. I'd, I'd do those again. I'd eat them. Um, would I go running to 7-Eleven to get them? Probably not. But uh, if I needed something on a bus truck or whatnot, I'd have no problem eating those. Those are, those are pretty good. Um, next here, we've got the first of the Lay's chips. These are Swiss cheese Lay's. they got to be pretty good, right? Um... Again, this one has English, so it gave me a little bit of a hint, as well as the block of Swiss cheese on the front, but um, these gotta be, I think these gotta be pretty good. So. Looks like your traditional Lay's, it's nice and orange. Um, yeah, almost like a, almost like a soft barbecue color, uh, the orange. They taste, or smell like uh, Swiss cheese, for sure. Swiss cheese doesn't really smell great, though. I don't know many cheeses that smell great. They taste good. I love cheese, but the smell, I don't know. The smell's never that good. I gotta have a second one of those. Hmm. 
I don't know, it smells a lot different than it tastes. It smells cheesy, but the taste is like a very, very mild barbecue taste. It doesn't taste like Swiss cheese to me. It's like a really dumbed down, like I said, barbecue flavor. Um, again, not bad, but um, doesn't really punch you in the mouth. I definitely have a lot of other flavors that I'd rather have than that. Um, but I'm not going to throw them out. They're, uh, they're good enough. They're not bad. So Lay's, I don't know, maybe give them like a, a 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10. We'll go 5 out of 10, kind of middle of the road. Just a whatever chip. Uh, the, I guess the kimchi, we will go with, um, I'm going to go with a 7 out of 10. They're above average, they're good, but nothing that will really knock your socks off. These next ones are making me a little bit nervous. I don't really, there's no English on these ones, and I didn't translate, um, but they have like kind of a pink bottom to them. Um, there's really no hints, there's some sort of like loaf, or like a loaded potato maybe. I think it might be a potato with like some bacon and green onion mixed in there. There's like some butter on the side with some green onion. So I don't know if it's like a loaded baked potato flavor. Um, but it's got me a little nervous with the pink on the bottom. I don't know why, but that's got me nervous, so. That smell doesn't help my nerve. That doesn't smell great. It almost smells like sweet. Here it goes. I'm not, not excited. This just looks like a plain Lay's potato chip. But it smells sweet. That is strange. It's not horrible, like I don't want to spit it up, but it's not good. No, never mind. That's not good at all. I don't know what flavor they're going for there, but that is... Those ones are going in the garbage. Oh, that, no, that's not good. Those are a, I'll be nice and give them a 3 out of 10. Probably a 2, but I'll give them a 3. I don't know what they're going for with those. It's very sweet. That's strange. Anyways, we'll move on from those. Uh, so we got a 7 out of 10, a 5 out of 10, and a 3 out of 10. Next up, these have to be good. Brown sugar airplane cookies. Um, not something I've really seen before, but, I mean, brown sugar cookies. Can't go wrong with those. Really like the packaging, actually. Those nice black and dark brown, kind of golden brown uh, color. Kind of a neat packaging. Caught my eye, at least, so I bought them. Their, uh, their marketing department gets a plus one for that. Okay, so they are literally like little airplanes. It's like a little mini plane. Smells great. Smells like a very strong brown sugar. Yep, I can eat those. It's like dipping your hand into a bag of brown sugar, throwing it in your mouth, and there's some crunch to it. That is just straight, pretty strong brown sugar. Very good, but I think you gotta be careful with these ones. I don't know that those are gonna be too healthy for you. But hey, if you're just looking for some flavor and a little pick me up, those are killer. Those are staying for sure. And last up of the snacks, another one that I really don't know what we're getting into. Um, there's all Chinese on here. Um, doesn't really give you any hints of. The only hint you have is a picture. Um, and it looks like kind of like a, a braided pretzel, kind of. Uh, but then there's like some, some sort of crumble on top of it. Um, I'm hoping for something sweet, but maybe like a honey, a honey flavor. Um, but we'll see. I'm not sure. There was three different flavors of these in the store. I only picked one. Um, I just picked the middle one just to try. But there were three different flavors. So if these are any good, I might have to go back and try the other two in a future episode. Because um, 
They look interesting, but we'll see. I'm, I'm not really too sure what we're going to get. So here we go. Alright. Definitely got like a sweet smell to them. They're an interesting... It's kind of like a maybe two inch, inch and a half little stick. And yeah, it looks like kind of a uh, like a braided pretzel. There's very little flavor and they are dry as a bone. That'll dry your mouth out in a hurry. You need a drink with these ones. It's interesting, that little crumble on the outside is like red and green. You know, it didn't really show in the picture, but yeah, it's like red and green little crumble on the outside. And it's all like covered in this little glaze, which is kind of like a honey glaze, almost like a frosted flakes glaze, whatever that frosting is on frosted flakes, that's kind of what this is. Yeah, there's just a little bit of a sweet flavor, not a whole lot, but just dry, dry, dry. All right, it's a great time then to turn to some drinks. I'm glad I saved that for last. So let's start with, ooh, I think I wanna end with the milk tea because I think it's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna save the best for last. So let's, we'll go asparagus juice and then we'll go milk. Cause I don't wanna go milk, asparagus juice, milk, so. We're going to go asparagus juice first. Interesting advertising here. We've got a girl in a bikini on the back um, drinking asparagus juice. So if that doesn't make you want to drink asparagus juice. Let's see. I haven't used a little straw juice box like this in a long time. So we'll see. Like I said, I like asparagus. like grilled asparagus. Uh, maybe on a barbecue or something like that. But I've never thought about having asparagus juice, that's for sure. Can't smell it. But here we go. A little bit nervous. Oh! Oh! That's a hard... no. Nope, 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 nope. That's not good. We're going right to the apple milk. Oh! Man, I don't know if apple milk's going to be any better. It smells like pure apple juice. And the fact that it's going to be milk has got me going. Let's see. Okay, I can, do, I can deal with that. I think if you just don't look at it, if you don't see that it's like a thick white milk, if you just think you're drinking apple juice, you can get away with it. Yeah, I can, I can deal with that. Just don't look at it, because it looks like milk, and then you get, it, it is apple juice. It tastes just like apple juice. But when you see one and you taste the other, it doesn't match up. But if you don't look at it, the flavor itself isn't bad. I'd give that, all things considered, the fact that it is milk and that it's apple flavored, I mean, I gotta give it like a four out of 10. If, if we're just going off of flavor, I'd probably give it like a maybe a six and a half or a seven, just on flavor, but something about apple and milk, just that has to knock it down a couple points. It has to. But significantly better than the asparagus juice. I will not be drinking any more asparagus juice, that's for sure. But now I'm really glad I saved what I hope is gonna be the best for last. I think it has to be. Classic milk tea. This is very popular in uh, Taiwan. Um, milk tea is sold everywhere. Um, the picture on it is, looks great. It looks like, um, like, yeah, milk and tea. Like it has that nice caramel brown color. Um, looks great. And I like tea. I really like tea. So I'm hoping that this ends the uh, ends the tasting here on a, on a high note. But. Smells very sweet. Definitely smells sweet. But let's try. It. Not as sweet as it smells. It is, there is a little bit of sweetness, but that's pretty.
pretty good. I like that. I think if you didn't drink it out of a carton, it would taste a little better yet, like if it was in a plastic cup. Um, which there are, there's lots of milk tea in plastic like uh, bottles. Or you can get it from stores with a straw and whatnot, but um, that's pretty, you get a lot of tea flavor, black tea, which is my favorite, I like black tea, I'm not a big fan of green tea. But I could drink that for sure, that's pretty good, I'm going to give that a, that's a solid 8, that's a good drink, I would, I would order that, or order that at a tea shop, or get it again at 7-Eleven, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I think, drink for sure the milk tea is the best. Apple milk is okay if you don't look at it. Um, I'm glad that one's in a carton so you can't see what it looks like because it is white milk, but it tastes just like apple juice. So it kind of throws your senses for a little bit of a loop. Um, the chips, snacks, I mean the brown sugar airplanes have to be number one, even though you gotta be careful with those. Um, I might put the tofu kimchi number two um, the strange, not sure what it is. Uh, actually, let's go Swiss Cheese Lay's, number three. These would be number four because they're just kind of dry nothings. Um, and then whatever the pink Lay's are is, uh, I don't even know if fifth is bad enough to describe how bad those, those are not good. Um, those are definitely last. So, yeah, overall not bad. Try to take a little bit more of a risk this time. Try some stuff that I really didn't know what it was. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you liked it, please hit that like button. Subscribe down below so you don't miss the next one. Um, and yeah, snacks seem to be very popular and food. Um, obviously Taiwan is known for their food and there's a lot of great food. So um, hopefully have more of this in the future. So yeah, please like, subscribe, and wait for next time. See you guys.